Ah, hello. I don't understand why he was so angry at all of us. It was for his own good. Did he see that? I'm thrilled. better have a damn good reason for being here. You lost or something? Oh, I woke up here. Just me, my underwear, and regret. Funny. The levity's in short supply around here. Are you okay? I've got a couple split ends and haven't rebalanced my stock portfolio in a while. But other than that, I'm dandy. How long have you been locked up in here? If I told you, you'd think I was crazy. Then again, you are standing in front of a naked woman locked in an abandoned insane asylum, so yeah. Hey, I'm on your side. I just need you to tell me the truth. Fine, I'll tell you. But don't say I didn't warn you. My name is Valkyrie. I was kidnapped in the year 2075 and brought here to serve as Jack Cabot's guinea pig. Jack's team ran horrible experiments on me for over two years, and then a nuclear war broke out and this place was abandoned. I've been locked in a cell ever since. And here I thought you were holding out on me. Tell you what, there's no way you're gonna take my word for it. If our roles were reversed, I wouldn't believe me either. Why don't you have a look at that terminal in the office across the hall? See if my story checks out, and then you can let me out of here. What do you say? That depends. What are you offering in return? I'm sure we can work something out. How about you unlock the door, and then we'll talk? All right, you can come with me. But you better not make me regret this. Thank you for that. I'll make it worth your while. The door lock is controlled by the terminal in the office.
you've read that terminal, I'm guessing you have some questions. You're immortal? I don't know. I mean, if you chop my head off, I'm pretty sure that would be the end of me. But as far as aging, disease, and death from natural causes, yeah, I'm pretty much forever young. Would you be willing to share some of that immortality juice with me? So that little tidbit was on the terminal too, huh? Well, I guess we'll see. Let's get out of this place first, and then we'll talk about it. Why does Jack have people guarding an old, insane asylum? Why do you think? If you were locked up in here for a few hundred years, wouldn't you be pretty pissed off too? Lorenzo's also mildly telepathic, or at least he was. I don't know how much his powers have grown since we last saw each other. If he were able to recruit help from outside and escape, it wouldn't be good for Jack. I'm good for now, thanks. So I have to ask, where do you stand on this cabbage drama? It's over. Lorenzo's dead. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I wish I'd had the chance to say goodbye to Lorenzo. I owe my life to him. It's his blood that runs through my veins and has kept me alive all these years. On the bright side, I suppose that means no more immortality serum for Jack. Unless he comes after me. So, you ready to get out of here? By the way, in case we run into trouble, you got any clothing or weapons to spare? Excuse me. What's the latest? I'm good for now. Thanks. I was done talking anyway. Is the rest of the Commonwealth as beat up as this place? Hey there. Thanks for helping me out there. I owe you one. Here, this is for you. Might be more where that came from if you play your cards right. What's next for you? Well, most people, after spending 200 years counting the grains of sand in a cell, would go crazy. But really, it was a pretty cheap price to pay for eternal youth. It's been so long though, and so much has changed. You seem like you can handle yourself pretty well. For the moment, I'll keep tagging along with you if that's alright. I've also got something personal I could use your help with. When you're ready, let me know. Hi. What's on your mind? Let me know if there's anything I can do to help you. There's something personal I could use your help with. You see, when I arrived at Parsons in 2075, it wasn't because I was crazy. Someone kidnapped me and brought me there, but I'm fuzzy on the details. For my own sanity, I need to know who took me and why. Okay, I'm listening. The last day I remember, before waking up bound at Parsons, at a doctor's appointment. You see, before the war, I was in the army reserves. My unit got called up and we were scheduled to ship out to Anchorage, Alaska to assist in the war effort there. But before leaving, I had to complete a routine physical and get some blood work done. My appointment was in the morning at Medford Memorial Hospital, and it all seemed to go normal. But afterwards, I was feeling a little lightheaded. So when I got home, I just hung out on the couch and watched TV the rest of the day. 
Had a late dinner, watched the sunset, and went to bed early. After that, my memory's a complete blank. Next thing I remember, I was an inmate at Parsons. Do you have any more details? No, that's the crazy part. The last thing I recall clearly was watching the sunset. All I know is that at Parsons, I overheard them talking about there being something unique in my blood or DNA. And just before being abducted, I had blood work done. That can't be a coincidence, right? I'm hoping that if I head back to Medford Memorial, or whatever is left of it, that it might help jog my memory. Will you help me check it out? No problem. I'd be glad to help. I appreciate it. Let's head over to Medford Memorial then. Excuse me. Hey there. Got a minute? Sure, why not? What's on your mind? I'd love to check out the Boston Garden Basketball Arena when you have time. It's still there, right? What else do you have? Check it out. You have any work? Not right now. I might be interested in buying or selling. Take a look. I wanted to ask you about something else. Sure thing. Nothing else for me. Oh, <laughs> 
got enough bullets for everyone. I am a super mutant! I am unstoppable! God! Spineless human! Woo! <laughs> 